Hi friends. Okay, we're going to start learning about space. So you can see behind me that space, you can see the black and maybe all the stars and the planets. And here's our planet Earth. And the first thing that we're going to learn about is the sun. The sun. And I'm going to show it way up close. So the sun, can you see? It looks like a ball, just like a planet, but it's not a planet. The sun is a star. Did you know that, that the sun is a star? It's just the star that's closest to us. And so this, the sun is a star, and do you see? It is full of heat and energy. Does it look like it's on fire? So the sun is basically kind of like a big, huge fire. It's a big ball of fiery gas. So um, it's burning the whole time and it's just a big, big fire out in space. So um, we're gonna learn about the sun first because it's at the center of our solar system. So it's in the middle of our solar system, our area in the universe, in the galaxy. Okay, and we're going to read Sun Up, Sun Down by Gail Gibbons. We'll learn more about the sun in here. So Sun Up, Sun Down by Gail Gibbons. Now this is going to be pretty hard, but we've learned a little bit about some of the things in here. And um, some of it, we, we may not understand all of it, and that's okay. We'll just read it, and then um, we'll understand what we understand. Okay, Sun Up, Sun Down by Gail Gibbons. Sun Up, Sun Down. The sun wakes me up. You see the sun rising there? And look, the little girl is waking up. It rises in the east and shines through my window. You see how it shines through her window? It lights up my room. Does the sun ever light up your room or light up something in the house? And makes patterns on my floor. So do you see how the sun is shining in through the window and it makes patterns on the floor? Do you see how you can see the sh the where it's shining? And then you can see the shadows, right? What is making the shadows? Its brightness colors the clouds and the sky, but the sun itself is too bright to look at. It could hurt my eyes. Do you see right there? She can't look right at the sun. She's got to shade her eyes and not look right at it because it can really hurt your eyes if you do that. I go down to breakfast. My cereal is made of wheat. My dad tells me that the sun made the wheat grow. So the cereal, um, it's made from a plant called wheat. We've learned a little bit about that. And my dad says that the sun gives power and energy to make plants and trees grow up big and tall. So we know that plants like trees and grass and the wheat and all of our vegetables and flowers and everything else, plants need sun, don't they, to help them grow. They need the sun um, to help them live and grow. It is summer. Because it is hot, I don't need to wear a coat or sweater today. The sun is high in the sky and the days are long. So um, in the summer, the days are longer. The sun is in the sky longer and that makes it really, really warm or hot, especially here in Texas. When the sun is low in the sky, the days are shorter. So um, it is winter and it is cold. That is when I need my coat, hat, and mittens. So in the winter, the sun is um, 
the days are shorter, so the sun is not in the sky for as long, and that makes the days colder. But on a summer morning like this, I see my shadow on the ground. There's the sun and there's the girl. So there's her shadow. The sun is behind me in the east. When I move, my shadow moves too. It points west. So the shadow always points away from the sun. See, she's right here and the sun's behind her so it's pointing away from the sun. By noontime, the sun is shining right above me. My shadow is gone. Has that ever happened to you? That whenever the sun is right above you, there's not much shadow, or you can just barely see the shadow right there. It is a hot time of day, and I am glad when my mother calls me inside for lunch. Sometimes your parents say, you've got to go outside and play. You say, but it's so hot, right? So she says, sometimes it's so hot that I want to go back inside. So right there, you can see the sun is over her. And since it's right above her, the shadow doesn't have anywhere to go on the ground. It's just right under her. While I am eating, I ask my parents a question. How far away is the sun? My mother tells me it is very far away. 93 million miles from our planet Earth. So see, there's the Earth and it's 93 million miles away. Wow, that's so far. She says it is a very big star it looks bigger than the other stars because it is closer to us. So that means all the other stars out there are even farther away, so far away that we can barely see them. Just like whenever you're looking at something and when it goes farther away, it gets, um, it gets smaller. It looks smaller when it's farther away. The other stars look small because they're so far away. But our sun, um, looks bigger than the other stars because it is closer to us. My dad says the sun is a ball of very hot glowing gases. Remember, it's like a big fire. It keeps our planet warm. Yeah, so we know that the sun warms us up and helps those plants grow. Dad says Earth, our earth would be dark and very cold if there were no sun. Mm, what do you think? If there was no sun, what would happen? It would be dark and cold. Do you think that the plants would be able to grow if there were no sun? No, do you think we'd be able to, to live here? Not if there wasn't any sun. The whole earth would be empty. Nothing could live on it if there were no sun. After lunch, I go outside. My shadow is back again. Oh, look. So before the sun was right above her, but now it's moved over a little bit. The sun is over here, but now it points east. So the sun was over here and that made her shadow go this way. And then it was right above her and the shadow was just barely there underneath her. And now the, su the sun is moving in the sky over this way and it's making her shadow go the opposite way. It's always pointing away from the sun. The sun is moving west behind me. Suddenly, big clouds begin to cover the sun. Have you ever seen the clouds go in front of the sun? That makes it a little bit darker, doesn't it? Um, my shadow is gone again. Why do you think that the sh her shadow is gone whenever the sun is covered up? 
That's right, you can't see how bright the sun is. So it's not making a shadow on her, is it? It's making a shadow for all of the clouds are making a shadow, aren't they? They're covering up the brightness of the sun and it's a shadow everywhere. That's why it gets darker. Over in the valley, the sun peeks through the clouds making shadows on the ground. So sometimes the clouds will cover up one part and make a shadow there. And sometimes the clouds, uh, there won't be any clouds. And that's where you can see the sun, where it's brighter. More clouds come. They are gray and black. It becomes dark. They're making the shadows, aren't they? A raindrop hits my nose and I run home. Oh, we learned a lot about the clouds getting dark and making rain, right? The, the dark clouds have the water droplets in them. And when the water droplets get too big, they fall and we have rain. I hear the rain on the roof of my house. My dad says the sun helps make rain so that we can have fresh water to drink and so that plants and trees can grow. Hmm, do you remember? What does the sun do? How does the sun help us make rain? Do you remember? Um, the sun shines on our oceans and lakes and rivers. It warms up the water. Do you remember it's kind of like making steam? When you warm up water, it kind of makes the steam and the water goes into the air. Some of the water turns into vapor and rises high into the sky. So the, the water is going up kind of like steam and it rises up high and it makes the clouds. The cooler air up in the sky turns the vapor into tiny raindrops. Clouds are formed. The raindrops float higher up into colder air. They become bigger and bigger. Finally, when the drops are heavy and big enough, the drops fall and it rains. Soon the stor storm clouds begin to drift away. Although it is still sprinkling, the sun appears once again and shines through the raindrops. I see a beautiful rainbow. My mom says the light of the sun shining through the raindrops makes the rainbow. Do you remember how when we read what makes a rainbow? We need sun and rain and all of the colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And um, so that's, so it actually has the blue and the indigo there too, the, um, or the indigo and the and violet. It shows, um, those are some fancier words for the, uh, in the rainbow. Mom tells me that the sunlight looks white, but really it isn't. It's made up of many colors. When a beam of light shines through a glass triangle called a prism, the beam of light is bent. Some of the rays of the beam bend more than others, separating the light into different colors. The drops of water are like the prism. When the sunbeams shine through the raindrops, what we see is a rainbow. When I go outside, my shadow is long and skinny. The sun is setting. So look, now the sun is not right over her or right here. Now it's way over here. So the, the shadow is pointing away from the sun. And since it's uh, lower down in the sky, it is going longer, isn't it? It is getting cool outside. So as the sun sets, it gets cooler. The sun is leaving for today and the sky is getting darker. My dad tells me the sun will shine on the other side of our planet while I'm asleep. 
He says the earth spins around and around and makes a complete turn once every 24 hours. So that's once every day. When our part of the earth faces the sun, it is day. When it is turned away from the sun, it is night. It is night now. The sun is down. The sky is dark. It is time to sleep. The end. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. We're going to learn more about that, and we're going to use our planet, our planet Earth, and we're going to use a flashlight to shine like the sun, and we're going to see how that works. Okay, bye, guys.